Hi, I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot. Welcome to 10 Talk Tuesday. Hey, it's the last 10 Talk Tuesday for 2019. Stay with me. I'm going to come back right after this and have a little chat. Hello, welcome back. Okay, wow, 2019, nearly seen its ass. <laughs> Uh, for me, it's been a fantastic year. I hope it's been a great year for you. I hope really exciting and amazing things have happened for you. That doesn't always mean that they're good things because sometimes, you know, you've got to go through the bad to get to the good. But I do hope that 2019 has been your year. I know that there have been so many changes in my life. Um, this year and so many exciting new ventures that I've embarked on like this video channel um, That it's just it's been such an awesome year for me. Um, so exciting Very stressful, but wow, I wouldn't swap it for the world So we're going into the year 2020 and again, it's a it's kind of like a new uh, a new decade another decade older my goodness and I think, you know, every decade we need to sort of take stock of where we are, who we are, what we're going to be doing for the next 10 years. And yes, it seems like a long time. You think to yourself, God, I can't plan ahead for 10 years. That's insane. Um, you know, uh, I mean, I could be run over by a bus tomorrow. Yes, Doreen, I know you could be run over by a bus tomorrow, but you still have to plan. And I think the beginning of every decade, one should put a very long-term plan together. Start putting together where you want to be, what you want to be, how you want to be in two years, four years, at the end of the 10-year decade. There have been so many advances since 2010 that I've seen. Technology, um, tarot reading, um, online tarot reading has taken a huge big um sort of it's exploded into this this sort of thing that now happens instead of face-to-face -face stuff um, the actual amount of, of tarot cards that, that have been flooding the market amazing amazing stuff you know in the last 10 years and and just little things that have become that have come out to help youtubers um, like little lighting rigs that are very cheap whereas 10 years ago if you were a youtuber you had to rely on basically the sunlight the overhead light in your room or someone holding a torch to your face um, whereas now or you had to go and spend like thousands of, of, of bucks on equipment now you can basically just take um, the video with your phone you know I'm very I'm, I'm one of those people that just love to move forward I love to move forward in life and I think that's what 2020 is going to be for me and I'm hoping that you can take the energy that you have to propel you through 2020 and beyond into the new decade that's that's coming up. I was chatting to a friend the other day and I just said to her, you know, I'm actually very sad. She was like, why are you sad? You're never sad. And I said, no, listen to what I have to say. I'm not unhappy. I'm just very sad that I'm, I'm 50 and I want to live for the next 500 years because I want to see and I want to be part of the next revolution. I want to see that that um, cell phone that makes you coffee in the morning. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or what do they call the thing? The singularity. I think it's called the singularity. I want to see the, the, the machines taking over. I am so sad that I'm not going to be here in another 50 years. Um, maybe I will. I'm, Never say never, but generally we don't live till we're till we're a hundred, and that makes me really sad because there is so much to appreciate and to in, in, encounter and to um, and to experience, you know. And I just want to do it all. I want to experience all the new music and all the new technology, and I just want to embrace all of that. And I'm sad that I'm not going to be able to do that forever and ever taking a step back, I can have as much as what I can push into 2020. And that's what I'm looking for, for the new year. I'm looking at reading new books. I'm excited about getting new cards. I am enjoying the fact that I'm going to be able to go to new places, meet new people. That is what is exciting me about 2020 um, and beyond. So I'm going to be putting a plan together. I have started putting my um, my YouTube video plan together for, for the first half of next year and I've actually nearly finished. So I kind of know what I'm going to be, videos that I, what I'm going to be doing and what I've been posting. 
up until about June next year. And it's fantastic and I'm getting so excited about sharing all this stuff with you guys and sharing the decks that I've bought and sharing the, the, the unusual sort of um, spins that I've put onto very normal kind of um, 10 Talk Tuesday subjects. So I'm really excited about this. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping that you can kind of come along with me on this exciting journey. Find a passion, find something that you can lock onto and push, let that propel you, push you into the new decade. Let that push you into the, into the 2020s. You know, don't think to yourself, oh, you know, I'm, I'm old now. You might be a year older, but you are exactly the age you're meant to be, if that makes any sense. You are exactly the age you're meant to be, and you're exactly where you are supposed to be right now. Um, plan ahead. Plan where you want to be at the end of 2020. Put a little step, uh, a little 12 step program together for yourself. You know, um, make, no, don't make a, a New Year's resolution. Don't make a New Year's resolution. Um, today is the very, very last day of 2019, but don't now go and write a whole big thing. I'm going to give up smoking and I'm giving up eggs and I'm going to lose 50 kilos. And you know you're not going to do that. You know you're not going to give up eggs. You know, you know you're not going to be able to give up everything that's got eggs in it. Like, come on, people, be realistic. Rather say to yourself, I'm going to do this. This is my challenge to myself this year, is every day I'm going to find some way to be kinder to whoever, my family, people in general, my pets, my animals, uh, animals, uh, you know. Set yourself that as a goal. Set yourself a little goal that you know you can um, achieve, that you know will bring joy to your heart. Giving up eggs or losing 50 kilos is not going to bring joy to your heart. Trust me, I know this. I've lost the 50 kilos before. I've given up the eggs before. <laughs> I've gave up the smoking. Okay, that brought, brought great joy to my heart um, because my heart's still ticking. But there are so many things that we, we say to ourselves we're going to do. We just set ourselves up for, for, um, for failure, don't we? So start small, start with something meaningful, some, something that is going to be achievable and meaningful. Don't expect anything. I find that every new year what happens is we expect so much. We expect to become richer. We expect to get the respect of people at the office. We expect this, we expect that. Don't go into the year expecting anything. Go into the year with the mindset of I'm going to do the best I possibly can the best I possibly can, okay? You don't have to live up to the Joneses. Just go out there, make a plan, deal. Have little tiny increments every month that you can work towards a, a specific goal. Um, and, okay, Matt, how does this all relate to the tarot? I've got like 30 seconds left. Use your cards to assist you on this journey. Use the tarot, use your Lenormand cards, use your oracle cards, whatever cards you use. Let them be a guiding light. Let them be a part of this new decade that is stretching ahead of you. And embrace the energy, embrace the messages that come through from the cards. Um, just embrace all the goodness and all the positivity. And if there's a negative thing that comes up or if there's a bit of a struggle that comes up, deal with it. Use your cards to help you plot a way around it, through it, over it or under it. I want to wish you all the absolute best, best, best for the new year. It is the 31st of uh, December, 2019. We have a few hours to go before the end of the year. Please be safe, be happy, and be blessed. I'm Matt from Tabi Tara saying, I'll see you next year.